Alright, so welcome to Ocean's first seal rescue report. In this video, we are going to dive into the numbers behind the seal rescues and basically summarize what has been happening here in the last three months. Let's go. Yeah! Help me, help me, help me! Yeah! So we have rescued 85 entangled kefir seals so far this year. We also had five sightings, meaning we spotted five seals that were entangled, but we didn't attempt to rescue them because they were too close to the water to do so. And then we missed another one. 85 rescues, well that is the best start of the year we ever had. Since 2020, we rescued 67 seals on average in the first quarter. We had a max of 74 in 2023. So we are quite ahead of the past four years and it is a win. Unfortunately, it is also some kind of a reminder that the problem is not going away. More rescues do not necessarily mean we are getting better. That might just mean that more seals are getting entangled every day. January was super slow. We only managed 10 rescues. And guess what? Half of them were actually in Walvis Bay, around the docks. That was our worst month of January ever. And it was really tough for us. We cannot do any rescues during breeding season, so afterwards in January, we kind of expect to find a few entangled seals waiting for us. But not this year, unfortunately. Oh, what is that? It's, blind. it's, it's behind the... Okay, in... <laughs> February was a real game changer for us. We rescued 39 kefir seals, which is a lot more than the average of just 15 for the previous years. What changed from January? Well, we cannot say for sure. It is possible that the entangled seals needed a bit more time to hunt after breeding season, or that the fish was far from shore. Okay, so that is big guy. It's not entangled. I'm very happy you're not entangled though. So after our best February ever, came our best March ever. It felt really slow. We spent a lot of time behind the binos and not so much with the nets in our hands. But we still got 36 rescues in this month of March. The, f the float might still be attached, but try. Okay, there was nothing around the neck. Nope. No. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map just to see where we performed the rescues so far this year. So we visited the Mother Bay colony once and we managed to rescue three kefir seals over there. We also managed to go to Tora Bay once and we got eight rescues in total. We visited Cape Cross three times and we got 28 rescues and one sighting. Obviously, we went more often to Pelican Point with 24 patrols and we managed to get 32 rescues and 4 sightings there. And then comes the Walvis Bay Harbor with 14 rescues in 39 patrols. <laughs> Got you! There were definitely a few more males than females getting entangled recently. 61% of the seals we found were males. But if we look at the animals over four years old, so the subadults and the adults, the difference is actually much bigger. 73% of our targets were males. The cows share their time between the colony where they nurse their pup and the water where they go hunt for a few days, every few days. So once in the water, they do not take the time to play around. They have responsibilities. And that might simply keep them away from getting entangled at the moment. Okay. 
Russia. He's been here before. So we rescued our first pup of the year on the 17th of February, which is very, very late. Like way later than usual. In the past four years, the average date was the 15th of January. So over a month earlier. Once again, we are not sure why it took so long this year. Maybe the puppies behaved. Maybe, maybe the trash they encountered in the water was not forming any loop. Or maybe we were simply not good enough at spotting them. You not, you not, you not! Quick, quick, quick! Quick! Throw, throw, throw! So how bad were the entanglements actually? Well, 59% of the entangled seals had some kind of injury, which is unfortunately typical for this time of the year. What is really interesting and quite frankly very hard to explain is the difference in severity between males and females. Half of the males versus three quarters of the females were showing injuries. That is a very big difference, but we honestly do not know why. He wanted me to stop. Yeah. Oh. He should have told me to stop. Do you want to know why we hate missing an entangled seal so much? Well, over a third of the entangled pups we found this quarter were injured. But for the yearlings, the injury rate was at 78%. Here you have it. That is a clear sign of how dangerous entanglements become over time. The longer an animal stays entangled, the more damage they suffer. On the 14th of March, we came across a piece of troll net in the sand at Pelican Point. Inside we found three juvenile kefir seals, all dead, and decomposed. It was really heartbreaking. We obviously kept them free and took the net away but it is a tough reminder of why we do what we do and why we have to keep doing it, unfortunately. That's actually just one. Oh no, dang. Three, three. This is our top three entanglements for 2025 so far. Number one, the recreational fishing line with 29 entangled animals. As you can see, the injury rate is really high because this line is extremely thin and very strong. So it cuts basically like a knife. Number two, the packaging strap with 20 entangled animals so far. As you can see, the injury rate is high with more than half of the animals showing injuries. Number three, the commercial fishing line with 12 entangled animals so far. The lower injury rate can be explained by the fact that these lines are actually visible from afar, so it allows us to spot them before the injury happens. Two entanglements to watch. We found five kefir seals with a hook in their mouth in the last quarter, when we usually find them much, much later in the year. We also rescued 11 animals from fishing nets, five of them being gill nets, when we only averaged a single net in the first quarter since 2020. So obviously these numbers are concerning and we hope that these entanglements are just isolated events and that we will find less of them in the next quarter. Ah! So during these three months, we missed one bull at the Toscanini holdout up north. We knew he was really close to the water, but we still had to try our luck. Unfortunately, we were not fast enough. And frankly, we didn't plan to have another seal biting our nets. It was close, but not enough. And he's still entangled as we are making this video. Go, go. There's it. So that's it. 
As you could see, these past three months were challenging for us. The next ones will be even busier. More and more pups will get entangled. More and more rescues will be needed. Unless, obviously, something changes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in three months.